Without missing a beat, the $135 million music hall renovation is ahead of schedule on track for its October reopening. We've profiled the changes and discoveries every step of the way, and so has one symphony musician. The Now's Evan Millward takes us back inside where the devil and the beauty is always in the details. There is a different kind of artist performing in music hall right now, actually, hundreds of them. And watching them work, there's a real commitment to the, to the job. And it never slows down with four months left until opening night. Symphony bassist Matthew Zori has been capturing the transformation since the start. It's helped me have a connection to the community that I don't think I, I brought in. Inside Springer Auditorium. What we're doing now is putting in the final touches, at least in this room. The painting is nearly done. The floors are almost in and seats are starting to arrive in the balcony. What a difference one year makes from our last visit. <laughs> Corbett Towers historic stenciling has been recreated. It and those windows found under a drop ceiling hidden for years. We've watched progress here too. Every time you turn the corner, um, it's, it's, you're breathing new life into this building, you know? And so for me, that's exciting to see something that, that really, it changes by the day. Symphony staff is looking forward to moving into this office space, newly opened up as well. Fixtures in the lobby are being restored, and this is new. An audience lounge is being built, a place to sit down before the show. My wife always used to complain, there's no place to sit yeah. out when you're out in the lobby. And so they're, they're addressing that, you know, which is cool. But Matthew Zori says the intimacy of the hall is really what sets this apart. Just look at his favorite space. He calls it the Rapunzel Room hidden high in a tower. I just love the textures and the light in here was just so beautiful and, and uh, the, the shape of the windows. Zori is laying out his photos for a book, but like the other artists inside Music Hall, there is work still to be done. I need to get opening night pictures in it. Yeah. You need to know how the story ends. That chapter opens in October. With photojournalist Eric Clagis, I'm Evan Millward at Music Hall in Over the Rhine.